So what does it mean if you do a transfer and you notice that you have some spots missing? Like I have this part here missing and this part here missing. So here I'm going to take a blank piece of wood and I'm going to take this image that's printed on my quick transfer paper. We're going to use gel medium. Normally when you're doing a transfer you want to make sure that you don't take too much time putting the transfer on because you risk the gel or whatever glue you're using becoming tacky or dry before you even had a chance to transfer the image. And now we're going to go ahead and just put this on there like so. And I'm just going to give it a little press here just to get it started. Plastic piece on here that also helps it from sliding around. You don't want your image to slide around because what will happen is you will likely smear your image now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and let this dry. All right. So hopefully that's dry enough. Let's uh, let's see if we get a transfer here. I'm just going to moisten the back. Clean, dry paper towel. Take up the excess moisture, and we're going to make a transfer. Now. Here's what I want to bring your attention to. Look how beautiful that transfer is. Isn't that great? Okay, notice that all you see is this RX. And then if you look on the paper, you'll notice that you have this RX. But notice that the rest of the image itself was pulled off with the paper. It's still on the paper. So what is the lesson learned here? If it's not glued on, not properly glued on, not good contact, not dry and glued on, it won't stick to your surface and your paper will pull it off. It's not the paper that causes the image to come off the surface. It's that it was never glued in the first place.